Hey, so I'm here in Portugal and a few comments in the videos I've been getting, people have been asking what camera gear I use to film a lot of the videos and actually you'd be surprised, about 50% of everything that I film is on the iPhone. So in this video, I'm just going to take a few shots while I'm here in Porto visiting my friend and it's all going to be filmed on the iPhone 13. So this will just give you an idea about the quality you can get from an iPhone and also just if you spend a little time um, playing around with your shots, just, just staying static. Look at the shots I'm filming. They're just pretty much static shots with a little bit of movement. This is kind of the quality you can get straight from an iPhone. So, enjoy. So as I mentioned, I'm here visiting my friend Stu. Now we have been to Porto before and we liked it that much that Stu decided to work out here for a couple of months and I can honestly see why. It's such a fantastic place. If you like history, if you just like beautiful cities, nice weather, wine or port, this is the place for you. So I hope you enjoy some of these shots that I took just with the iPhone 13 Pro around Porto and I'll give you a little tour of the place as we go along. Now, the Douro Valley runs right through the center of Porto. It's a really beautiful river. You can do boat trips. Uh, you can, of course, cross the famous bridge, which is actually built by the same person who built the Eiffel Tower. If you're a foodie, make sure you check out the Pastel de Natas. I absolutely love these. You see these in England, but they're even better in Portugal. If you're into seafood, again, as you can see, there's plenty of fresh fish in Porto and every seafood meal we had was fantastic. If you're into your red or white wine, make sure to check out all of the wine and port houses. This is the world of wine and it's absolutely massive. It's floors and floors of history and teachings about red and white wine. So even if you've never had um, much red or white wine before, make sure you go to this place and check it out. You can do some wine tasting and there's just so much to learn. Port houses absolutely everywhere, and each one will teach you a bit about the history of port from Porto, and they all have port tasting as well. Also, the nightlife is really good in Porto. It was 20 degrees during the day in September and it dropped to about 10 degrees at night. But we still sat outside under the heaters and had a few glasses of red wine and a few glasses of beer and just went out for some really nice meals. Stu took me to this place. It was absolutely fantastic. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. The food honestly blew me away. And then we just went out around Porto for a few more drinks to end the night. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.